Hi all, I hope you all are doing well. I am Pankaj Pandey, PhD student at Indian Institute of Technology, Gandhi Nagar, India. Today I present our work on brain to depth lightweight CNN model for classification of cognitive states from EEG recordings. I will be discussing motivation, objective, CNN types, followed by the proposed pipeline, results, and conclusion. This is the standard EEG pipeline for analysis. The first phase is to record the data using EEG electrodes and followed by some pre-processing steps, such as referencing, filtering the noise, removing the artifacts related to physiological, non-physiological, and electrical noise. Physiological artifacts like eye and muscle movement artifacts. After pre-processing, interested events are extracted and based on this window, it is classified whether this belongs to A, class A or class B. The motivation of this work is to develop an efficient model with respect to time and performance for the classification task, which can be used in three different scenarios. Identifying the event related potential, utilizing only single drive for classification and in brain computer interfaces for real time feedback. The objective is to develop a model which can classify the different cognitive states from brain responses with high correct prediction and less time and can be re deployed in real time scenarios. EEG signals are mainly decomposed into five frequency bands, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. And one example for real time analysis is neurofeedback. The protocol defined here is derived from focus attention meditation techniques. Meditation has been an effective tool to enhance attention and minimize mind wandering. High power of theta and alpha has been observed in previous studies during med practicing meditation. Therefore, a neurofeedback protocol is developed to modulate oscillatory activities on the NAEP participant. So this is the one example for the real-time neurofeedback. The most established algorithm among several deep learning methods is the convolution neural network. Deep learning based methods have successfully recognized the pattern in the brain activity from functional MRI, EEG, MEG, etc. There are two mentioned works that demonstrated the different domains. For example, early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease where a brighter region of interest tends to be more effective by the progression of the disease. In recent paper of Guess the Music, only one second of EEG response was used to predict the song that person is listening to. Hence, we utilize variants of convolution neural network in our proposed pipeline. So unique components of this research are to utilize the three different CNN layers to build the network, standard convolution, depth-wise convolution, depth-wise separable. Standard con 2D to learn richer features at every spatial scale, depth-wide convolution which acts on each input channel separately and extremely, extremely efficient to generate second representation. Depth-wise separable convolution factorize a regular convolution into a depth-wide convolution and one comma one convolution called a point-wise convolution. This was uh, initially introduced for generic object classification and later used in uh, inception model to reduce the computation in the first few layers. So we propose our model here. We divide the classification pipeline in two processing units. The first is to create spectral density 2D plots from neural responses. And second is to define the classification model. EEG time series signals are extracted into windows of two, four, and six seconds. Varying window length identifies the information content and plays a significant role in discriminating the classes. Window extraction is followed by power spectral analysis. Oscillatory cortical activity related to meditation primarily observed in two frequency band, theta and alpha. And we, are we test our model on meditation data set. That's why we extracted theta and alpha here. These bands are further subdivided into theta one, theta two, and alpha one, alpha two and we created the uh, topographic map of SCAL data and 2D circular view. These um, images are fed into classifier in our, into our model. Our model comprises four blocks as shown here. The first two blocks are introduced to capture deep feature information and the third block for, for reducing the computation. 
the major component in these blocks are regular con 2D, depth by spatial con 2D, and depth by spatial separable uh, convolution. Kernel sizes for initial two blocks are three cross three and two cross two for standard two convolution with 64 filters and two cross two for depth by convolution. The third block comprises standard con 2D and depth by separable convolution of kernel size 2 cross 2 with 64 and 12 filter respectively. ReLU activation is introduced to generate faster convergence and better efficiency. The output of ReLU is processed by max pooling operation for spatial subsampling. Batch normalization is performed at last in three blocks to minimize internal covariate shift, which subsequently accelerates the training of deep neural networks and enables a higher learning rate. The fourth block contains flatten two dense layers and a soft mag activation function. A uh, dense layer is employed to combine all the features learned from previous layer where every input weight is directly connected to the output of the next layer in a feed forward fashion. We test this model in the meditation dataset. We utilize open access public repository consisting of 24 meditators for Himalaya yoga tradition. There are uh, uh, two groups were formed based on the experience and hour of daily practice. One group is expert and another is a, a non-expert. All participants were asked to meditate continuously for half an hour. Uh, and three questions were presented at random interval to check the depth of meditation, mind wandering, and tiredness. Control subjects did not have a meditation practice during the meditation condition. Control subjects were instructed to remain aware of their breath for the duration of the recording period. Data were captured using 64 channel BioSEM EEG system and Meditation Research Institute in Rishikesh, India. Hence, in this research, we are doing three class classification problem. We compared the performance with commonly used machine learning classifiers and state-of-the-art deep learning methods model. We trained six machine learning classifier and tried several hyperparameter also. We obtained maximum accuracy below 70% using random for forest classifier in six and four and six window. Uh, and uh, uh, when we compare with uh, deep learning models, uh, we uh, deep learning model outperformed traditional ML techniques. And also we used uh, VGG16, uh, ResNet50, MobileNet and MobileNet V2 version for the comparisons. We obtained 97% in VG16 and more than 90% in other networks. And our model performed uh, has performed uh, equivalent to these networks. And we also compare uh, in the training and validation loss with other network. Training loss reduces as the epoch increases. Uh, our model is comparable with a VGG network. We uh, try to keep our model simple and time efficient. We compare the parameters and time for training and testing. Our model demonstrated comparable performance while utilizing parameters, which were only 0.52% of VG16, 0.32% of Resin50, and 2.28% of MobileNet, and 3.16% of MobileNet V2. We also visualize the blocks of layers in theta and alpha. It represents the significance of different scalp regions in classification and can be further utilized for interpretation during real-time feedback scenarios. We also performed the ablation study in which at table A, we varied the filter and kernel size in all three blocks. Number of parameters range from 49K to 91K and observe performance changes with varying parameter. Even with 53K parameter in block one, we found a significant performance of 90% in all the bands. This shows that our presented model can be further customized according to the need. We also swept the position of batch normalization, ReLU, and max pooling. We did not observe any significant differences as shown in table B. In table C, we replaced one layer type with another layer. We observed a slight improvement by one or two percent in all the frequency bands. However, parameters got doubled and increases the training time by seven seconds. And this suggests that model can be efficiently fine-tuned according to the availability of the resources and other constraints. This study demonstrated a pipeline uh, for the EEG classification task. Uh, in several scenarios, heavy deep architectures are not required and a simple model uh, is required to produce a similar result with high precision and in less time. Our proposed study shows high performance in utilizing minimum time when compared with the state-of-the-art models. And uh, our model can be efficiently fine-tuned in several real-time protocols.
and effectively suited for real for resource constrained environments these are the references and thank you